Welcome everyone to Ready Steady Charge. My name is Solomon and this is the Hyundai Kona EV 2020. Today we are going to do a trip from Edmonton to Calgary. Yes, it's another road trip today from Edmonton to Calgary. Again, this is one of those longer trips that people in Alberta take fairly often. Uh, let's take a look at what we're starting with right now. The battery is at 92%. And let's take a look at the uh, temperature of the battery. So it is at 10 degrees Celsius, uh, which is pretty good for this weather. Just ignore the ambient temperature reading uh, there because this vehicle had been parked in an indoor parking spot for a bit and uh, the temperature sensor needs some time to adjust. Right now it's actually about minus 19 degrees Celsius in Edmonton. My plan is to go to Innisfail and charge and while I'm there I will see how hot the battery gets during charging because if it gets hot enough I might actually go to uh, the Petro Canada charging station in Cross Iron Mills and there the charging station can charge a lot faster and I want to see what my vehicle can take under these weather conditions. So the charging station in Innisfail can provide up to 50 kilowatts. It's fast, but this vehicle, the Hyundai Kona EV, can take even faster charging speed at 75 kilowatts. And 75 kilowatts can be achieved if it is within a certain range of the battery percentage, and also if the battery is warm enough. So we'll see how this goes. Hey, how's everyone doing? We have arrived in Innisfail and uh, the temperature has dropped somewhat. It's now minus 22 degrees Celsius. And let me show you some of the numbers on the vehicle. So we have arrived with 15% battery. This is actually exactly as I planned. So just enough buffer to give us some safety. And uh, we're gonna start charging very soon. Let's take a look at the temperature. I uh, don't know how well you can see it, but basically the battery is at 13 degrees Celsius. Uh, the heater is, is minus 8. It have not been working, so 
that's quite cold. But the battery is at a really good temperature, so I'm expecting a fairly high charging speed here. And let me show you the consumption. Ooh, consumption is high, 3.7 kilometers per kilowatt hour. That is pretty high for this vehicle, but we're driving at fast highway speed. And also we're driving at cold minus 22 degrees Celsius temperature, as well as uh, we have a little bit of headwind. So that all comes into factor of uh, making our drive a little more energy intensive. Let's go plug in the vehicle. Uh, for those of you who's, who have watched the previous video of me going from Calgary up to Edmonton, this is the same charging station. And the unique thing with this charging station is, well, it is free. This is the only free level 3 charging station between Calgary and Edmonton that I know of. And uh, free juice is always good juice. Here we go. We are back in the vehicle. Let's take a look at what the charging speed is like. So it is sitting at 39, 38. Not too shabby. I was hoping, you know, 42. But that's pretty close. I'm okay with that. The battery heater is on and uh, it's heated up a little bit. So I hope this can raise the battery temperature and we will get better charging speed. I will keep you posted on that. Let's check in with the charging speed again. So still at 42 kilowatts, great. It's a pretty good speed considering that this charging station can only give you 50 kilowatts. So that's pretty good. The heater is still working hard, 31 degrees Celsius, and the uh, battery temperature is at 17. Now I'm hoping the temperature of the battery can get to at least 20 to 25, and I'll tell you why in a sec. There's something interesting I want to show you, which is how long do I have to stay charging at this charging station before I have enough to go to where I want to go? Well. That uh, requires a little calculation, and let me show you how. So where I need to go to in Calgary is 114 kilometers from here. And with that distance number and the consumption number, which is 3.7, let me show that to you, 3.7 kilometers per kilowatt hour, we can divide 114 kilometers by the consumption number of 3.7, and then we can get how many kilowatt hours of energy we need. All right. I can use a calculator or I can let Google do it for me. So this is Android Auto and I can use the Google Assistant right here. What is 114 divided by 3.7? The answer is approximately 3.810811. Okay, so 30.8 kilowatt hours. Let's make that 31. So that is actually about 50% battery. So my total battery capacity is 64 kilowatt hour. And of course, 31 is just a little bit less than 50, which means we are now charging at 30%. Um, technically, we can make it if we charge to 50 but I'm going to be a little more conservative and leave myself a little bit of buffer. So I think I am going to need uh, safely 65%. And then I can go and still have 15% buffer. So if you have watched my other video where I went from Calgary to Edmonton, which you can see right here, you will notice that the consumption number is actually quite high today compared to the other day. Um, right now I'm getting 3.7 kilometers per kilowatt hour. The trip where I did from Calgary to Edmonton, uh, we have 4.5 kilometers per kilowatt hour. So today's consumption is quite high and there are a couple of factors. One of them is the lower temperature. So the colder it gets, the denser the air becomes. So you have more air to push through, which means you're going to use more energy. 
And the other big factor is actually the elevation difference between Calgary and Edmonton. So if you go from Edmonton to Calgary, which is what we're doing today, uh, we're going up a big hill. And if we're going the reverse, Calgary to Edmonton, well, we're going down a big hill. So, of course, going uphill will use more energy. And that's why today's consumption is a lot higher than last time. And let me tell you a little bit about this experiment I want to do today. And uh, I still have to wait and see if I can do it. Which is, can I get over 50 kilowatts of charging speed in my vehicle in the cold. So this vehicle, the Hyundai Kona EV, can charge at a maximum charging speed of 75 kilowatts. But there are some things that need to line up for that to happen. First of all, the battery capacity has to be between zero or 57%. So this is the range in the battery where you can get the 75 kilowatts of charging speed. And the other factor is the battery's temperature. It has to be over 25 degrees Celsius. And as you saw, we arrived with, well, 13 degrees Celsius. And that's short of 25. Now, as we are fast charging, the battery heater is warming up the battery. And also, there's excess heat coming off of the charging process, which means the battery can heat up as we charge. So we are sitting at 22 degrees Celsius in the battery right now. So we're just 3 degrees from 25. And let's see how high the temperature can get. All right, the battery is at 25 degrees Celsius. Now, if our Petro Canada charging station is right next door, I'm going to unplug here and go plug in there. But unfortunately, there's still about an hour worth of highway driving to get there. So what that means is, as I drive, the battery will cool down because the ambient temperature is so cold. So I still got some charging left to do. Right now, I'm at 53% battery. I think I'm going to get to uh, 65 to 70%. And hopefully, the battery will heat up even higher beyond 25 degrees Celsius. All right, I'm going to unplug right now. We're basically done charging. We're at 73% battery, and <clears throat> our battery has heated up quite a bit. It is sitting at 28 degrees Celsius right now, and I hope as I drive, it won't cool down too much. I'm sure it will cool down below 25 degrees Celsius, but uh, hopefully it's not too low so that once we plug into the charger at Cross Iron Mills, the Petro Canada one, uh, the temperature can come back up very fast, and then we can get a good charging speed.
We have arrived at Petro Canada here in Cross Iron Mills and I'm going to plug in right now. So let me update you on what the battery temperature is like. All right, we came with 32% battery and uh, you know, this is plenty enough to get to Calgary because I'm only about 20 kilometers away. In terms of consumption, we have 3.6 kilometers per kilowatt hour. It, uh, consumption increased a little bit. Um, but that's because I did drive a little bit faster than when I was driving between Edmonton and Innisfail. So that's why the consumption's a little bit higher. All right, battery temperature. Well, it's 21 degrees Celsius and it's hovering between 20 and 21. Okay, I better plug in and get this thing warmed up. Hopefully after five more degrees of temperature increase, I can get a really good charging speed. Hopefully, fingers crossed. 75 or 74 kilowatt hours. We are at 25 degrees Celsius. Uh, will the speed go up? Will it go up? I don't know. It does not look like it's moving. Oh, all right. We're going to wait for a little bit and see if the speed increases. Uh, if not, then we're going to have to uh, put an end to the experiment and go to where I need to go. Oh boy, we're at 26 degrees and the charging speed's still not going up. So I guess that's the end of our experiment. I was hoping to get, ooh, maybe even 60 something kilowatts. You know, if we don't get 75, but looks like we're limited to 40 something. Um, yeah, I guess that's the end of that. Well, uh, while I was charging, I went to Petro Canada for my own uh, level one discharge. So that part I didn't have to show you. But I thought I'll, uh, I'll show you what this uh, Petro Canada station looks like. It's got a, well, really fast charger. You can get up to 350 kilowatts on the CCS adapter if your vehicle can take it. Um, but as you saw, it does really depend on the temperature of your battery. So we're getting uh, 44, 45 kilowatts right now, uh, which is not very fast for this charger, but it's good enough for this temperature. And uh, as you can see, I am paying for it and it's charging me money based on time. So, well, I'm done with my experiment. So let's unplug and uh, get going to Calgary. This is uh, where I'm going to leave you here. And this will be the end of today's video. Um, as I said, I didn't really have to charge at Petro Canada because I got plenty of juice to get to Calgary. It's only 20 minutes away. But I wanted to come here to do this experiment and see if I can get a really fast charging speed at uh, minus 23, minus 22 degrees. Make sure you subscribe for more electric vehicle content. As always, I am Solomon, and see you on the next one.